eggplant jambalaya. I couldn't believe it the first time I tasted it. It is delicious. Mm -hmm. How y'all are? You sure know it, I guarantee. <laughs> I'm glad for you to see me. I got some good stuff to cook this morning. Some of stuff you never heard of before. I'm gonna make an eggplant jambalaya. And then I'm gonna make a bread pudding. Now this eggplant jambalaya, I was in California at a rice festival doing a cooking demonstration about uh, two years ago. And I always answered questions from the people who were there paying me to come out there and do that. And one lady stood up and said, I don't, the only question I have is why doesn't somebody make a, a vegetarian uh, jambalaya? Hey y'all, today we're going to learn a few good cooking skills from a legend, Mr. Justin Wilson. So here we go, y'all sit back and enjoy. You ain't seen cooking like this, I guarantee you. I said, vegetarian, that's the only thing I could think of would be an eggplant jambalaya. She said, will you make one? And I made one that day. And they're so good, I make them every now and then, and then pretend that, that, that the eggplant is meat, you know, and it works. Now, in this one right here, I'm going to put a half a cup of chopped celery. Where you at, celery? <laughs> right here. Get in there. And I'm going to put two cup of chopped onion. Anything with that many onions has got to be good, I'll tell you that. No question, my hands are clean, more or less. And then I'm gonna put some uh, fresh parsley, chopped and frizzly and nice. It has a good, it, it helps flavor, and also helps you, uh, you, you breathe, you know, it doesn't smell as bad, chlorophyll. <laughs> And I got some bell pepper. I'm gonna put about a, a cup of bell pepper, and I'm gonna stir all that. I don't. I generally stir, but there wasn't anything to stir except a dry damn deal there. And now I'm gonna stir that around, mix it right, so it'll be pretty. Yeah. <laughs> Smells good already. Hmm. Now I'm gonna put some fresh green onion that we gonna put on that, and stir that in to get out of there. Stir the sauce. Getting right there, as you stay, I guarantee. <laughs> Man. I talk to myself, but I never answer myself back. Believe me, I know. And now I'm going to put some uh, two tablespoons full of chopped garlic. Two tablespoons full is what I want to put in there, and I'm going to get it all in there because it, it's going to need it. Believe me. That helps the guys a lot of things that you have in there make it taste good. Put it there like that. Spread it around good. Now that garlic, when I put that garlic in there, I got to put some kind of liquid because I don't want to lose the garlic taste. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Now, into this right now, I'm gonna put some water. Come here, water. There you are. But first, I'm gonna stir that garlic into there a little better. Get around there. I don't want you in one spot. If I pick it out, it'll be just nothing but the garlic. I'm gonna cover this with water. Just barely. And I'm gonna turn the fire on so I can remember which burner to turn on. I'm gonna do my best to remember it this morning. Get that cayenne pepper. Get to sit down here and see if I can figure out which is the right one. I bet it didn't. It was the right one, wasn't it? <laughs> Don't that nice? Put that on medium fire. Right there, right now. Move my water. Got some other things I got to put in there. I'm going to put a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Now that looks like a lot, but it's not for all this. Is, we got 10 cups of those. Uh, eggplant, we're gonna go in there. Come on now, let's stir you in there good, because I'd hate to get a hold of that whole teaspoon at one time. <laughs> Make me forget my name. <laughs> and I love well-seasoned food, but not anything that's too hot. Cajuns don't like hot, hot, hot food. They like well-seasoned food, that's what they like. 
and they love to live and they live to love and they have fun. That's the main idea. Now into this, I'm gonna put two tablespoons full of Worcestershire sauce. That's two tablespoons, been so nicely measured out for me. Stir as you stand, you got to stir. Stir it up. Put that there. Put you in there. Put you in there. Now, move. Now, into this, into this, I'm gonna put a cup of dry white wine. And you know why I cook with wine? A lot of people say, oh, he cooks with that wine. Well, there's no alcohol left in it. And after about 10 seconds of cooking, I use wine because wine takes the bitterness out of things that have bitterness that you wouldn't think have it, but they do. Onion have bitter. They have, they're bitter. Parsley is bitter. Celery has got some bitterness, and bell pepper too. So I, I'm just going to put a cup of wine in this. Wine. <laughs> now I've got to let this come to a boil. And then I'm going to put, I'll put some salt in there. I'm going to use three cups of long grain rice. So I'm going to put at least three, three teaspoons. That's one. <laughs> that's two. Y'all don't believe that's a teaspoon. I have to show you. Doubt and Thomas and Thomasina is around. You know how it is. <laughs> but what I do, I do what my mama taught me to do. Measure that teaspoon every time. You hear you see that? <laughs> Stir that a little bit. Now. It just says salt to taste. I got to put a little more salt in there because I got a lot more than just, just that rice going in there. Put one more <laughs> teaspoon and a Justin Wilson lanyap to go in there. Now put all the ingredients in there except the rice and the eggplant. I got everything. Salt, dry wine, tomato sauce, tomato, Worcestershire, cayenne pepper, garlic, green onion, bell peppers, fresh parsley, chopped onion, and celery. And I'm gonna let that come to a boil and cook those onions a little bit. And I'm gonna go over here and we're gonna start. just put the rest of this in here. Now into this now, I put uh, eggplant. The chopped, chopped up, 10 cups. Oh. They go in there and like nice little fella. Oh, I'm not gonna pick that up off the floor, believe me. <laughs> I lost one, one piece of eggplant on the floor. I'm gonna kick it out of the way where well, I won't step on it. I don't like to step on the eggplant. Now, end of this, I'm gonna put rice. I'm gonna put uh, three cups of long grain rice and let it cook for a while. Long grain rice. Mix it up all at the same time if I can. And I can. I'm gonna put a little more water in this. Now you think that's gonna run that pot over? You're wrong. <laughs> that rice will take up all the water I put in there. And I don't have to put much more, see, to bring it up to where everything gonna have a little water. See that? In fact, I've got a half a cup left. Now I'm going to stir this a little bit and let her cook for a while. Eggplant jambalaya. I couldn't believe it the first time I tasted it. It is delicious. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Ha! Huh. Only thing it needs actually is eating you hear? Take a little sip of wine, red wine. Now this is a vegetarian, and this is vegetarian wine. It's not made. 